Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create an employee DTO and employee mapper classes. So let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA and go to DTO package over here. Right click on DTO package, new and then choose Java class. Let's give class name as employee DTO. Perfect. Next, let us define the instance variables for this class. So here private long ID and then private string first name and then private string last name and then private string email next let us annotate this class with add getter number connotation to generate the getter methods for these instance variables next let us use add setter number connotation to generate the setter methods for these instance variables next let us use add no argument constructor and add all argument constructor annotations to create a constructors for this class well we use the employee DTO class to transfer the data between client and server so when we build the rest pool web services we'll use this employee DTO as a response for you know rest apis next let us create a employee mapper class to map the employee entity to employee DTO and the employee DTO to employee entity so whenever we build the rest pool services then we have to convert employee DTO into employee JP entity and employee JP entity into employee DTO, right? So instead of writing the same logic in you know all the classes, let's create a mapper class and let's keep the common logic. So here what we'll do, we'll create a new package and let's call it as mapper. Let's create a class. Let's give a class name as employee mapper. And next let us create a static method, public static. Let's give return type as employee DTO and let's give method name is map to employee DTO and let us pass employee JP entity as a parameter to this method and next here return new employee DTO and let us pass the values to the constructor so let us get all the values from employee JP entity and let us set those values to the employee DTO so here employee dot get id and then employee dot get first name employee dot get last name employee dot get email perfect now we have created map to employee dto method it will map employee jp entity into employee dto similarly let's create one more method that will map employee dto to employee jp entity so here public static let us give employee jp entity as a return type next let us give method name as map to employee and let us pass employee dto as a parameter to this method next return object so let us construct the object of employee jp entity and here employee dto dot get id employee dto dot get first name employee dto dot get last name employee dto dot get email all right perfect now we have created map to employee static method it convert employee dto into employee jp entity all right perfect so let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have created employee dto class to transfer the data between client and server and next we have created employee mapper class to map employee entity to employee dto and employee dto to employee entity all right good in next lecture onwards we will start building the restful web services all right good i will see you in the next lecture